you know, when he starts singing about, you know, someday, yeah, if I had an orchid, I'd, I'd work till I'm sore. You know, to me, it's very, you know, give me a farm, you know, just, you know, give me, you know, tools in my hands and I'll work, I'll work the earth. I'll plow the earth, you know, I'll work, I'm going to be happy. And my wife will be, in the, you know, working in the store and we're going to be, you know, so that's what I meant about the lyrics, you know? And so as that song was developing and the lyrics and the music, you know, it ended, I was like, wow. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Into the Music. My name is Greg and that guy over there is Chris. So Chris, tell the audience what we have in store for them today. Okay, you will be reacting to Fleet Foxes with Helplessness Blues. And this is a Kofi request from Abe. So I don't think we've done any requests from Abe before. No, no. But uh, okay, so this will be the first. And um, give it a listen and... Let me know what you think. Will do. Don't hold back, man. <laughs> I was raised up believing I was somehow unique. Like a snowflake, distinct among snowflakes, unique in each way you can see. And now, after some thinking, I'd say I'd rather be a functioning cog in some great machinery, serving something beyond me. But I
trying to really wrap my head around what the song was about. I have some ideas. I'll leave that for the conversation with Chris. That was really pretty. Hey, I'm back. I'm back. Um, that was a real... And when I say the word interesting, you know, usually kind of like tag it with, oh boy, interesting. Um, um, <laughs> no. That's a safe answer, you know. That's the well, neutral answer. Can, but yeah, positive. no, yeah, sometimes it's, yeah, maybe I could agree with you on some with some things, but with this, it really was interesting. I think that what seals it for me on this song are the lyrics. Okay. The thing is, that though, is that I really couldn't tell. I, I, I'm going to guess, you know, let me just get into the music a little bit, but, you know, I'll, then I'll come up with what I think it might be about. But, okay. But I just love the I. I'm kind of weird in this way, where I can listen to a song, can listen to the lyrics, the cadence, the words that are being said, and not get it the first, second time, whatever. But still fall in love with the lyrics, still fall in love with like how, you know, with what's being sung. You know, I don't mm -hmm. have to really know that first time, you know, to really like be drawn to the lyrics to. Yeah, I don't I get, have to know what, what it's saying. about. Yeah. 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 So it's, I, it's, it's very lyrical. I mean, very right? lyrical. I mean, it, it's, you know, it's saying something. I think it's saying something. And I think just the structure of the lyrics, too. I think that it's going to, I think that the payoff, you know, once I find out what it's about, I think I'm going to be, you know, hooked, you know, because it just, I think there's something there, you know. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but yeah, man. All, and and I I really liked, I I like you know the composition, the arrangement of of everything. Um, you know, I really can't put my finger on it, but I was I was surprised as the song was going on of like how much I was actually really liking the song. Um, you know, so when, thought, when you first heard it, did you think you weren't going to? I mean, I mean, other than the lyrics, I just thought what was nice about it in the beginning. It started off with like, um, I wrote it down, like there was an, an acoustic guitar and then the vocals came in and you got that nice, you know, the singing starts and you've got the acoustic guitar and it was, it was, and it was nice, you know? And I, I pegged it as being something that was going to be kind of soft and, you know, and that was kind of be going to be like the way through, you know? And yeah. it surprised me because then there was some, um, you know, there was like instrumentation that really came in and I think some drums, boom, boom, boom. And um, I don't know if there were strings, but there were just, it really, it really filled in and it was pretty rich, you know, with the music. Mm -hmm. um, very rich sound as the music was, as the song was going on. And, um, and again, it was, it was the lyrics, you know, there was some sort of mention in the beginning about like snowflake distinctiveness you know and you and i just have <laughs> something that i said in one of our reactions not long ago about like you know that you know you did you that one right. snow that yeah that every snowflake is different from the from from yeah. each other yeah yeah um and then there was mention about um he doesn't know which station he'll be at uh the world outside is inconceivable um so much that he's tongue-tied i'll come back to you someday um if I had an orchid, I'd work till I'm sore. The first time that I heard that, then he followed up with something about she will be working like in a store. And I really liked that because it was as though, and the music kind of like quieted down a little bit. It was almost as though he was kind of like, he sort of off somewhere far away, like thinking, pondering, wondering, dreaming, fantasizing, you know, um, wherever he's at right now, there's uncertainty, you know, he's, he, you know, um, I kept thinking he might be off to war. He might've joined the army. You know, there might be something there that, you know, um, and he doesn't know if he's going to, there's some question about whether he'll come back. And at certain times of the song, he says, I'll come back to you. Um, I'll get back to you someday soon. You'll see, you know, and it made me think that maybe he thinks that, but maybe in reality, that's not going to happen, you know? And so, you know, when he starts singing about, 
you know, someday, yeah, if I had an orchid, I'd, I'd work till I'm sore. You know, to me, it's very, you know, give me a farm, you know, just, you know, give me, you know, tools in my hands and I'll work, I'll work the earth. I'll plow the earth, you know, I'll work, I'm going to be happy. And my wife will be, in the, you know, working in the store and we're going to be, you know, so that's what I meant about the lyrics, you know? And so as that song was developing and the lyrics and the music, you know, it ended, I was like, wow, you know, I really like the song. So, uh, yeah. I, I, I don't know why I'm so surprised. I don't know why I'm so surprised, you know, um, maybe lately the reactions that have come to us, you know, there's these grooves, there's these sort of, you know, it's, um, it's a shoegazing and it's, you know, some funk and this and that. And then you got this song here that just, it's really cut from a different cloth. And yeah, I liked it, man. Cool. So you're going to say, I hate it. <laughs> I was waiting for you to ask me what I uh, be down. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was waiting for, no, not at all. I really like this song. Excellent. Cool. Um, I'll tell you what it's about. The songwriter said, I wanted this song to be completely, a completely open opinion with no kind of poetry, which is interesting because we were talking about how we really like the words. It was direct though. Um, and um He's saying it's hard to articulate without, without it sounding really reductive, but I was born in the 80s, a time of relative plenty in the United States. So I felt that the, in, quote, individual thing was really emphasized when I was a kid. I just don't know where that has left me. Uh, if everyone's just like this autonomous individual, you know, how, he says, you know, to me, it would be culturally and dot, dot, dot. And I guess he's what he's saying is, you know, you know that period where everybody was, everything was, you know, instilling self-esteem in their kid and stuff and everybody's unique and you're special, and, right? So what he's saying is like, does he have to live up to that? Maybe, you know, uh, and uh, maybe he'll just be a cog in the wheel of some bigger, bigger uh, system, you know? Cause that's kind of what that's that's what the vast vast majority of us yeah. end up doing, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and I I think um, you know, this is like the other side of the coin with that whole individualist movement and so on. That oh well, if you didn't make it into something real big, then it's your all your fault. Like circumstance has nothing to do with it, and you were special, and it's a lot of pressure too, right? Mm. What's interesting to me is that someone who's um maybe not an A-list rock star, but a rock star nevertheless, wrote this song. So <laughs> there already, it's like, yeah, I won't be something, I might not be something special, but it's like, but you're a rock star when you're writing this, unless he wrote it before uh, they made it big, I don't know. Oh, let me it, just tell you, um, yeah, yeah. before, hold that thought, this came out in 2011. Okay. So I don't know when they made it big. Um, okay. You know, first made it big, but so you were kind of you were on the right track. You were right about some of it, but he didn't go off to war. That's really the thing that stands out to me. Yeah, just I'll come back to you someday. I'll come back to well, you someday soon. Well, that's just she's keeping him on the shelf. She says, but I think that's just showing the. I don't know why that's in there necessarily, but when he's saying, "If I had an orchard," he he also made a comment that. He didn't really mean it to be this like rustic kind of imagery. He just he just used that. He doesn't mean he's going to go, you know, on okay. a farm. He just meant he's going to be part of the do a regular job. I just said, you know, be a regular kind of person. Yeah, you know, yeah, part, you know, just like a spoke part of the wheel. You know, that's right. kind of it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And then you know that early part there with snowflake distinctiveness, right? He was talking about the snowflakes being different from each right. other. So now that makes sense. You know, if he's yeah. Yeah. You know, you're special. You're unique. You know, like that. Right. Um, yeah. It's a lot of pressure being unique, you know? So the one thing I was going to say um, before, um, after you had done sort of let me know, informed me um, about the song uh, was that, um, oh, right. And you mentioned about the rock star thing. You know, what I was thinking too, is that I think that especially for bands, and I don't really know about this band, but, you know, a lot of the bands that we have reacted to on this channel, 
you know, a lot of them, some of them are one hit one wonders. A lot of them, you know, had their sort of time in the sun, you know, mm -hmm. and then they kind of like, you know, that was it, you know, they had their time and some of them reached stardom and a lot of them, a lot of the bands that we've reacted to artists, you know, they just fell short or fell way short, but you know, they had that moment or two. And so what I'm saying is that, you know, I think that for a lot of those bands, those artists, they, I think they're, I, 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 I think they have the reality sort of, they know that they're like one bad album, one, you know, uh, missed hit away from like just packing it in, you know, it's a mm. hard life being a musician, you know, um, you know, you've got to practice every day, you know, then you've got to, you know, you've got to, you got to pitch it and you've got to then, you know, gotta, get that big hit. That energy, muster up that energy. And the energy, yeah. and then it's like, when's the next, you know, what's the next song? That's great. Give me another one, you know, and it's just rinse and repeat. And it's very stressful. You know, a lot of people think the rock star life is like amazing and want to be like that, but. That's why I gave it up, man. <laughs> and so, you know, when that ends, they have to find, you know, their, you know, where, where they fit in the world, you know? Yeah. And, you know, I just wonder if, you know, he sort of, you know, like kind of is aware of that, you know, that, you know, I may not be doing this all, you know, my whole entire mm -hmm. life, you yeah. know? And when that happens, when that end comes, you know, you know, I'll be ready. I'll be ready to fit in, you know, and, and that's going to be okay. You know, whatever fitting mm -hmm. in means. So, um, I mean, this is all speculation on my part, but that's really interesting though. You know, no, that's, that he that's was saying, point, yeah, yeah. So, um, really interesting song, man, you know, and musically it was enough to keep me interested along with the lyrics and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely going back to that one. Cool. Yeah. yeah I liked it a lot. Yeah. Abe, right. Abe requested it. Yes. Abe. Yeah. Abe. Yeah, so thanks, a good Abe. one, man. Thank you. Yep. Okay. You want to take, take us out? A, I'll take us out and just say, yeah. Chris, this is great. Have a good night. And to everyone out there, I hit all the good buttons and, uh, and we'll see everyone on the next episode of into the music. See ya.